These tutorials are going to take you through creating your sweetie sweet dispenser in CAD using a soft, software program called Autodesk Inventor. The first part we're going to create is the frame. To do this, we're going to open up Autodesk Inventor. So we go to our start button down the bottom left. And you can scroll down until you find Autodesk or Autodesk Inventor. And you can just click on that there. I've already got opened up to save a little bit of time. So when you open up, this is what you'll be greeted with. You'll need to go up to the top left and click New. And from there, we've got an option of creating parts, assemblies, or drawing files. What we need to make sure we're doing is we're using the metric system. So on the left hand side under Templates, there should be a folder called Metric. And we can click on that there before going up towards the part section at the top, clicking on Standard MM which stands for millimeters. You can click on that there and click create. This will then load up a new part area to work in. We first of all, I have to start by creating a 2D sketch. So we're heading up to the top left of our toolbar, which is the bit that runs along the top there, and clicking start 2D sketch. These, a variety of kind of blank, uh, orange, uh, flat planes pop up. And these are what we're going to draw on to create our parts. So we're going to select the XY plane. So it says XY at the top left corner of it. And well, you know it's selected because it's gone red. So we can click on that there. And that will then create us, take us into a 2D environment. So this is very much like a piece of paper. The first thing we need to do is draw a rectangle. We can go up to our toolbar. There's a variety of tools on there. We need to make sure we're using the right rectangle or tool. So you can hover over the rectangle and it should be the two point center rectangle. If it's not showing, you can click on rectangle with the little drop down arrow below it and you can select rectangle two point center. We then got that tool. We want to hover over the yellow dot in the middle of our page. The yellow dot we're dragging around will then go green as you can see and you can click there and then just drag your mouse out. You'll see the dimensions change as you drag it, and you can drag it so it's around about 90 wide, so the number at the top is roughly 90, and roughly 60 tall, and then you can just click. We then need to add some dimensions to make sure those our shape doesn't change. So we can go up to the dimension tool on the toolbar there, and can click again. And we just want to dimension the top line, so as we hover over it, it goes red, and we can click, and again, we want this to be 90, so just type in 90, and then you can press enter or tick the green arrow. We want our block to be 60 tall. So again, we're going over to the right hand side, hovering over it till it goes red, clicking, and then we'll click just off to the right of that, and again, we can type in 60, and press enter or hit the green button. You'll notice your lines have all gone blue, and that means they're fully constrained, so they're not going to move around randomly. At this point we can click finish sketch and this is taking us back into our 3D environment and you'll notice the toolbar has changed. At this point here we want to click extrude. So this is going to extrude a block so we're taking our 2D sketch and turning it into a 3D object. We want our block to be 80 millimeters deep so we can type in 80 but we're not going to press return yet. We're going to then select symmetric so below the 80 there's one direction one direction two symmetric so we're clicking symmetric and that means our block is extruding out 40 in front of our drawing and 40 in back of our drawing and we can click ok there so there's our initial block created next up we want to create another sketch so we're clicking on start 2d sketch again and this time we're going to sketch on a face so we're going to click that front face and then that'll flip round and create our 2D surface for us to work on again. Again, we're going up to our rectangle tool. Rectangle tool. We're going to hover over that and make sure it says two point center rectangle. Remember, you can always click on rectangle on the little arrow and go down to rectangle two point center if you want. We're clicking on that there. And again, we're going to hover, take our mouse and hover over that center point and it should go green. 
by clicking there and then dragging that out. And this time I want to drag it to roughly 40 by 20. We just click there again and that creates a rectangle. Much like before, we're going up to dimension tool, selecting it by clicking on it and then clicking on that top line. This here, we're going to create a dimension of 40. So just type in 40 and then press enter, hit the green button, the green arrow, green tick, sorry. And then we're doing our right one. So hover over that line until it goes red, click on it, drag your mouse over to the right a little bit, and then we can click 20. And now we've got a box that's 40 by 20. At this point here, we can click finish sketch. So again, we want to extrude. So we're going up to extrude. And this is currently extruding a block out the front. We don't want that. That's by the picture we showed you at the start. We want a hole going through the middle, which we'll then add our dispensing drawer to. So in the middle here, we have a few different options. We can join, we can cut, and we can intersect. We would like to cut in this case. And you'll see it then flips around and it looks like it's going to cut right through a block, which is exactly what we want. So at this point, we can just click OK. And now we've got a gap running right through our block. We can go up to the right and we can rotate our cube here and we can see that there. You can also hold shift on the keyboard and press on your scroll button to rotate your block round. And you can see there's a hole right through the middle there. Next up, we want to add a circular hole in the top. So again, we're going to go to start 2D sketch and we're going to hover over the top and that's going red and we can click on that there then. This time we want to use the circle tool. So as we hover over it, it should say center point circle. If it doesn't, you can click on circle in the drop down and click cent circle center point. So this time again, there's a little yellow dot in the middle there. We can hover over that there until it goes green and click on a circle. And we take that to around 30 millimeters. We're going to go to a dimension tool again, click on a circle, click off the circle, and then type in our dimension, and then pressing enter, and ticking the green tick. So you can see that's dark blue, that means that's fixed in position, and it's not going to change randomly on us. At this point, we can click finish sketch, and we want to go up to the extrude tool again. So we want to use the cut tools we did last time, so that's the second one down in that middle of that menu box, but we don't want to go all the way through. Instead, we want to go to, at this point here, we need to select a face that that's going to cut down to. So what we're going to do is going to cut down to that bottom face there that we've got highlighted in red. So we click on that there and you'll see our circle cut doesn't go any further than that there. At this point, we can click OK. Finally, we're going to add some fillets. This is just going to add a little bit of a curve around the edges to make it look a little bit more like our actual block does after we've sanded it a little bit. So we can click fillet, we're going to click feature, and then we're going to hover over it until all the outside edges of the object have gone red. But before we click, we actually need to check what radius we're going for. So click on below radius and it's got a dimension. So that's currently two millimeters. I'm just going to change that to 1. Then we're going back over our box, making sure we've got the outside edges highlighted in red. We can just click. And you'll see they go blue. We can click Apply. And then they've been applied. And then you'll see we can just close that by pressing Cancel. The last thing we wanted to do is make this look like a block of wood. So we can go up to the very top of the screen. And you see what it says default. We can click that drop down there, and this gives us lots of appearances to change the look of our block. What we want to do is to save it. We want to select yellow pine because we use pine in the workshop. So click yellow pine, and that changes our block to have a pine look to it. At this point here, we can now then go up to save it. So going up to the top, clicking save. Now you'll need to navigate to wherever you're saving it here. 
I'm saving it in my OneDrive under S2 Suite Dispenser, but you may want to save it in your Libraries, Library and Documents. So we're going to save that as frame and just click save. And that's our first part of our sweeps dispenser created.